Sensing. The side that he leads have certainly had their problems with injuries, but their performance being adversely compared with last season and indeed with the season just after the war when they were relegated. But although they've had their difficulties away from home, they are unbeaten here at Elland Road. Peter Barnes has a special reason for playing well this afternoon, playing against his old side, West Bromwich Albion. And that side this afternoon relying on experience with manager Ronnie Allen recalling both David Mills and Alistair Brown to the lineup. As yet, they haven't won away from home, their best performance being a scoreless draw at Nottingham Forest. Alan Clark looking for a change in fortunes this afternoon. After ten matches last season, when of course there were only two points given for a win. On by Connor. Bit of a miscue by Statham. Barnes. And nobody there for the finishing touch. Been a difficult start to his career at Leeds United for Peter Barnes with the side conceding goals particularly away from home. Plenty of players forward for Albion. All the midfield players with a passion for going forward. Mackenzie, Mills, Regis, took it well. And Mills has put it wide. Well, Albion really a little unlucky. And it was more difficult for Mills than it might have looked. Fine play by Regis at the start, using the inside of both feet. Tried to curl it past Lukic, who got the block. And as the ball came out to Mills, he couldn't control it inside the far post. Owen. Up by Statham. Lovely balanced run. And Statham still. Regis behind him. And Mills now behind him. Looking for Alistair Brown. And the goalkeeper did well because he followed the flight and made sure that his body was in the way of the one place that Alistair Brown could head it, which was down inside the far post. So as the away side have really strung quite a lot together and got players forward, Statham in particular, all the midfield players. That's easy for Lukic. Burns. Hart. Played it nicely with two coming to him. So did Hampson. Now Connor. Barnes coming into the six-yard box. Put out by John Wilde. Kenny Burns and Paul Hart both coming forward. There's Hart. And Burns has taken a place on the six-yard line. Connor the nearest in. We get no, a push and a penalty. Push and a penalty, the push on Connor. And the referee immediately giving the penalty. And why is clear from his action. There was a push on Connor. And the whistle went immediately. So a chance for Leeds to score their sixth goal of the season down on the road. It falls to Kevin Hurd from the penalty spot. Garden. Oh, I say that was a good save. It was a bit close to him to be truthful, but he got down very well, and the ball refused to go under his left arm. And Heard denied, and the chance wasted. So with exactly half an hour gone, no score, in spite of a really fine effort there by Peter Barnes. That was a shot in anger. But all credit to Tony Gordon. 
whether he moved or not, I wouldn't like to say, but certainly he got down quickly. The ball was a bit close to him, but he refused to let it squeeze under the left arm. There's Paul Hart. It's Graham. He's well to get there first. And he's worked the opening. Oh, I say, what a good goal. What a really very, very good goal. And so what we failed to get in 45 minutes of the first half, we, or more in particular, Leeds have achieved within 30 seconds of the restart. And really a very, very good goal. He got to the ball first on the near post as we looked and turned so well, worked his opening and then beat the goalkeeper between the goalkeeper's right hand and the post. Good advantage so far. Robertson. Now Regis. Lukic backtracking and rightly. And it's the Brown! Oh dear, oh dear. He will be acutely disappointed about that. Because that really was no sort of header. And he had quite a lot to aim at. King making the forward run. Useful ball by Mills. And Lukic again. Committed and going in with his feet. It's a good purpose, although King thought that he may have tripped him. Certainly going to make the point to the linesman. But John Lukic, a little fortunate then, because he committed himself and he got his body too far forward and rescued himself with his feet. Mackenzie, look for somebody coming right. Here's Batson. too long oh oh no foul Lukic escapes again the referee did not give a free kick whether that was because in the end the goalkeeper got possession or not I don't know but uh, Lukic thought he was fouled by Brown Paul Hart going forward there number five and Burns number six Comes away from the middle. Hart gets the header. Cherry! And Cherry just managing to get it over Derek Statham with a good looping header. And Leeds, whose lead was being considerably threatened, now have real breathing space with a second goal from the corner. Connor came away, knocked on by Hart up by Cherry over the head of Statham on the left post as we looked. <laughs> 71 minutes gone, Leeds United 2, West Bromwich Albion 0. Owen. Mills. Stumble will allow a couple more defenders to come back. And Mills now has a shooting chance. Title will be a bit disappointed. Stuttering start, but having started the motor, made the gap well and really wasn't too far away. Connor. Oh, yes. Goalkeeper never moved. Well, how about that? Or words to that effect? Clark smiles, he doesn't do that too often, at least not around football matches, and really that goal all about a quite superb strike of the ball by Connor. Or at least almost found Connor, let's get it right. Here's Regis. Owen. King. Change Mills gets it and scores it. But he's been calling for a ball in that position so often. It might be saying, well, if you'd have given me the ball there more often, 
there might have been more to show but he certainly stuck that away although John Lukic the goalkeeper won't be too happy with his part in it so 79 minutes the fourth goal of the match 3-1 to Leeds United and those Albion supporters and we just saw applauding the goal might be interested in knowing that uh, next week their manager Ronnie Allen is intending to sign Dutch international Martin Joel from FC 20. Indeed, Martin Joel is watching the match from the stands. Mr. Mitch has had a check of his watch. It's uh, what he's noted for injuries and stoppages. Nicely pushed up to Brown, clearly taken on the chest in front of the appeals. And Burns clears the Leeds lines once more. And a winning start for the new skipper Kenny Burns, a change of fortune for the manager Alan Clark after a disappointing opening to the season. Three second half goals by Leeds United and Burns leading from the back. Two individual goals and one by Trevor Cherry coming from a set piece. And the late reply by Mills in the 79th minute for Albion. The final score, Leeds United three, West Bromwich Albion one.